Dens of the Cavalry. This Zi poem was composed by Xin Qiji when he was frustrated, living idly in Xinzhou, now Shanrao, Jiangxi Province. In the winter of A.D. 1188, the fifth year of Chunxi and the reign of Emperor Xiaozong of Song Dynasty, during the Second Path Breaking Debate with Chen Liang, also known as Tong Fu, Xin Qiji took the Dance of the Cavalry as the name of the tune and the poem. By recalling the battle array and the heroic metal of the early anti-Jing army and his own career on the battlefield, it conveyed his ideal of defeating the enemy to serve the country and recovering the lost land, expressing his grief and indignation for being unable to achieve his ambition as a hero in his twilight years. Though drunk, we lit lamp to see the glaive. Sober, we heard the horns from tent to tent. Under the flax, beef grilled was eaten by our warriors brave, and martial airs were played by fifty instruments. It was an autumn maneuver in the field, on gallant steed, running full speed, with a shoot. With twanging bows, recovering the lost land for the sovereign, it is everlasting fame that we would win. But alas, white hair grows. The first half of the Zi poem vividly portrays the image of a loyal, faithful, and valiant general, showcasing the poet's great aspirations. The first six words employ three distinctive actions to shape the image of a warrior, imbued with profound significance. The unfulfilled poet sought solace in wine after talking freely with his friend, who then left. He lit the lamp, drew out his blade, and in a trance went back to the scene of the battle. The resounding horns blew from tent to tent, and the warriors were eating beef grilled on the vast land. At this time, musical instruments played in unison the martial airs. It was a maneuver in the field. The word "lian" reveals the grandeur and well-disciplined demeanor of the military. The good match of Ba Bai Li Yi and Wu Shi Xian is complementary to Chui Jiao Lian Yin, jointly creating a grand and forceful artistic conception. The second half of the poem commences with two close-ups of the running speed and the twanging bows. The poet immerses himself in a rich imagination, incarnated into the general in the poem. Taking the lead and chasing after a victory, enemies were caught and defeated and fled in confusion. The triumphant songs were played in an ecstasy of joy, and the flags fluttered in the wind. However, just as he climbed up the peak of the ideal, he fell back to the harsh reality by the sudden turn of Kalian Bai Fa Shen. White hair grows. The entire poem stops abruptly, leaving readers with an abundance of thoughts. The tone of this poem is grand and lofty, but a strong contrast between grandeur and sorrow, and ideals and reality, reminds us of the corrupt and incompetent Southern Song Dynasty court at that time, the plight of the people. And the suffering of all patriots yearning for serving the country, with the ups and downs, it is a typical work reflecting Xin Qiji's depression and frustration.